Last night, I posted to 10,000 of you guys to ask me questions specifically around trading, entrepreneurship, lifestyle, all of that stuff. And in today's video, I'm gonna be going through every single one of them. Now, if you're completely new to this channel, my name is Rob Donahoe. I'm a full-time Forex trader and the founder of Woke Effects and also Social Fusion. I'm 21 years old, about to turn 22. I've spent around four to five years on the markets and been doing it full-time for about a year and eight months. There's been a lot I've learned in the last few years that can definitely help you guys develop your trading and just your general experience as an entrepreneur. So make sure to listen to every single question as I'm sure one of them will massively help you out. There is the odd question that I'm gonna make an entire video on, the ones that have been asked multiple times by multiple different people. So make sure to click that subscribe button as I will be going in detail on those questions. So Rami asks, can you please release a video on YouTube when day funded pays you? Thank you. So the last two videos have both been around passing phase one, phase two, and getting a $7,600 payout from day funded. I say getting a payout, but we haven't yet, so we're basically gonna be able to see if they do pay out or not. If you don't know what day funded are, they're a big prop firm giving out a ridiculous offer at the minute where they're charging 50% price and giving you an account free. However, my community have been asking me to try them out first to make sure that they actually do pay out and they are legit. So that's exactly what I've done. If you haven't watched those videos, make sure you do. As I go through the exact trades that made me around 20% to pass both phase one, phase two, and get the 4% payout. But yes, I will absolutely be making a video on that pay out if they do pay out and even if they don't I will. M1NH4Z underscore 21 asks how much is your course? Now we've got a few different options depending on where you're at with trading and also your own financial situation. For me when I first started my girlfriend had to buy my first course that's how damn bad I was. I was in thousands five figures worth of debt as an 18, 19 year old, which to this day, I don't even know how I got into that amount of debt. So I understand that not everyone's gonna have loads of money to chuck into education. The only problem I have with most people I get on calls with is they're very happy to put money into signals or to start trading by themselves without actually getting any sort of education first. So I'd always say as a new trader to invest in the skill set first. To break down our options, we've got a 500 pound beginner course, a 1.8K one-to-one mentorship and advanced beginners and Discord section. That's what 95% of people from work join. Main reason being is because I'm going through one-to-one -one with you exactly how you're gonna use the trade criteria, create your own trading rules, back test, forward test, develop your skill set, and actually leverage that on funded accounts or personal accounts depending on what you wanna do. The price is going to increase and we are gonna eventually stop taking people on for the mentorship. Main reason being is because we're getting a lot of demand, a lot of people wanting it. And obviously, I'm only one guy. We do have, I think, 30 six-figure funded traders in there now, so they also help out and give a lot of tips and advice and do also one-to-one -one calls. But as we continue to get people on, especially me personally, I have less and less time to actually speak to people one-on-one, -on -one, which is what I'm there to do. So yeah, for that exactly, it's about 1.8K, but it will increase and it will be eventually cut off. Oh, and if you're already experienced in trading and just wanna see how I trade, whether it's live trading, live analysis, looking at all my previous trades, looking at my market forecasts, you can get that for 80 pound a month with our premium Discord. All of this will be in the bio, so make sure to click that. Christy asks, how many trades do you take a day? Now this massively varies. I generally only trade GU, and the setup I look for doesn't present itself every single day. However, I do trade London and New York session, a lot more London session, but I do occasionally trade New York session. I have my own strategy for New York session. London session, I'd say typically, I mean, it only gives you one opportunity really to take a trade. I mean, you can scale in into these positions potentially. Very, very low chance I'll take two trades in the day. I do sometimes if it's one in London and one in New York, or if I've been maybe induced and then take the same kind of position after more confirmation, but that's more of an error on my end. But typically per week, I'd say anywhere from none to six, seven trades a week. It really depends on the market and what's being presented. Reese underscore Hodgkinson, who I know loves these videos. Thanks for the support, mate. He asks, what was the transition like for working a job to full-time trading slash mindset? Blake, who's one of WorkFX's traders, also asks, at what point did you realize that you were going to take trading on full-time? These are very similar questions, and I have gone through this in a previous video. I'm gonna make an entire separate video going through exactly, going from working a normal nine to five to transitioning as a full-time trader and not having to look back and get another job or anything like that. So make sure to subscribe and wait for that next video because I will literally film it now and it'll be out next video. Miller asks, are you UK based? You know I'm UK based. Seneca 0 a asks, 
or s demands make video about four hour slash daily strategy. So I trade using top down analysis, not necessarily a strategy based off daily or four hourly confluences. I just use that as a bias to take a position on the lower time frames with my strategy. Josh Taylor nine asks, how much Lego can you stuff up? It's naughty. That's misbehaving, Josh. O.Parso, Ollie asks, why have you stolen my man dash Anna Ollie's girlfriend. Ollie's a part of Woke Effects and he's probably in our community all day, every day. So um, yeah, apologies, Anna. It's just trusting the process. The game is the game. He's got his, he's got his head screwed on. Jack asks, can I have a tenner? Yeah, sure, just message me. Lauren asks, who's your favorite sibling? Indy is, not you. Really good question. ZY4N, I'm guessing it's Zane, underscore, underscore, asks, 2% up on my fifth 100K funded account, four failed, any advice, bro? Take that fucking money and do not touch it. Please, you're 2% up. If it's 100K, that's two grand. That pays for those four failed challenges. Do not take any other trade. Get the payout. I'm hoping it's with a good prop firm so they will pay you out. Once you've got the payout, I would literally just be going for 1%, 2% gains each month. Nothing crazy. And then fund other accounts like that. Because once you build up to the stage where you've got 500K, a million, 1.5 million, in funding, that 1% to 2% now builds its way up to five figures a month. It's literally what I did with my first ever payout. I think I had a massive payout, which probably was way too aggressive. I had an 8K payout, and all I've done from that is fund the rest of my challenges and be able to scale that with funded accounts or prop firms. Mattis underscore 107 says, hey man, just wanted to ask which prop firm you think is good. I would say FTMOs, your standard, that's who you should go with. I don't promote any prop firms. I'm not affiliated to any. That's just one that I've had the best experience with. I am gonna make a video going through my experience with every single prop firm, the best one that I think, the best options you have for different things that you're looking for, etc. So make sure, again, to subscribe. Don't know what I'm doing with this all the time. Alex Fryer says, how are you such a sexy boy? Stop it, mate, stop. You're making me blush. Thomas Resterick asks five bet, Five book recommendations. Love Tommy's a good guy. Um, he has, I mean, the four around me. I'm currently reading Ego is the Enemy. As a trader, there's a really good book called The Best Loser Wins. Trading in the Zone, these are just a ton of recommendations. Again, can do an entire video on this if you guys want. The 10X Challenge is really good as well. Mention that quite a lot in a few of my videos. And of course, Atomic Habits too. Tom also says to build your strongest seven aside team from woke members. God, that's a hard one. In goal, I'm gonna go Jimmy, because he's a tall lad, or potentially Andrew. Oh, nah, I'm gonna have Andrew in, in the back, in the back three. Yeah, Jimmy in goal, Andrew center back, just like seven foot. <laughs> Sashi recently got 100K in funding in the back line as well. With, you can go in there as well, Tom. Then I'd have the twins on the wings, me and Sal in the middle of the park in the eight and six row, and Mr. Field up top, scoring all the goals. Kate, who also just got her first funded account, ask, what's your big goal in life or your five year plan? My goal is literally just to be successful. So with me, I have goals for my businesses, for my trading career, but in terms of actual life, I don't think there is necessarily a goal just to be overall successful and make a good impact on the planet. And what I've done already in terms of building the community of traders that we've got, I love that. Like the whole meetup was insane. Seeing it in person is better than having any winning trade or big result or big profit month because it's actually like-minded people around in a community sharing great experiences, great knowledge and pushing each other to their absolute limits. So that's the best thing I've done. Ideally would just get that to the next level and be able to grow that to a really good point. Meet like-minded people, continue to do what I'm doing with trading, manage ridiculous amounts of money, grow multiple businesses to an absolute amazing place. I don't really have anything specifically that I want to happen in five years. I'm not really into materialistic stuff as much, especially as I was when I was younger. As soon as I started making good money, it's, instead of just buying silly things like I would have done when I was younger, it's very much putting it into new projects, putting it into things that I can, I can see growing into something really good and being able to pay my people well as well. Tom also asks, if you had to move somewhere out the UK, where would you move and why? Mm. Really good question, not too sure to be honest. I've got a few friends in Thailand, a few friends in Dubai. I really, really like Monaco, but you do have to be ridiculously rich to live there. So either there or Dubai probably. I don't think I could do America personally. Maybe potentially like Puerto Rico or something like that. I know there's a lot of traders in Miami too. But yeah, I'm not sure, probably Dubai. Toby.02k asks, do I provide one-on-one -on -one coaching? Yes, as I went through earlier, that is the whole main benefit as to why we're doing so well, or the main reason as to why WorkFX is doing so well. Most of these courses are literally just videos and that's it. That's where I learned from and it's not 
it's helpful, don't get me wrong, it gave me the blueprint to leverage my skills onto the market. But at the same time, most individuals don't learn best from just videos. Having accountability directly with me or directly with Riley or Jesse or Dan or Sal, that's super, super beneficial to your progress and making sure you're not getting too egotistical when you win, too down when you lose and understanding what it actually means to be a trader rather than just trying to get a get rich quick scheme from either a course, signals or whatever. So yes, we do do one-on-one -on -one mentorship, but it is relatively limited because I'm only one person and my team don't have millions of spots available for exactly that. Oh, we're going, are we? Didn't say you were filming. You've got the walking stick. No, no walking stick. Thank you for watching my video. Subscribe. Follow my Instagrams. Fuck off.